Part 6. Cab drivers confused when I say Cebu Zoo, as if nobody goes there. And here's the lineup to get in, and it appears nobody does go there. This is not the happiest zoo. You got a few monkeys on chains, there's not a lot of staff, and you can tell the infrastructure inside is falling apart a little bit. They don't have as many animals as they have on their website. It seems like the zoo is slowly being closed. So they don't have the tiger that they used to have. Some of the birds that were here before aren't here either. Here we have a saltwater crocodile, quote unquote friendly, and you can get down and take pictures of them. Yeah, oh, uh, that is a crocodile. This is a Philippine snake serpent. What? <laughs> uh, this is a Philippine serpent eagle. The zookeeper tried to get it to come onto my arm, but it didn't want to. We also have a Brahimini kite if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Handsome bird. This animal is called a Celebus crested macaque, also known as a black monkey or a blackie. That was all we really saw at the zoo there. It wasn't very big and was kind of far out of the city, which is why the cab driver didn't like it. Anyways, we went back, went to a mall, then went back to the hotel for a bit before it was time to head back to Taipei. Going back to Taipei, heading into cloudy weather, wonderful. There are certain conveniences that you do have to love about Taiwan, like USB chargers on the bus.